Whispers is not a wild Toshi. Now, as you may see, you have Dark Chronicle on the screen, but there's a reason for that. On January 7th, a user by the name of Player8234 asked me to do a tutorial on fishing for Dark Chronicle. And while I don't do walkthroughs, a little tutorial on this, which some people can have trouble with, I have no issue with. I know the screen's a little messed up, but it's the best uh, I can get without making it blurry and crap. So, first thing we want to do, get out our fishing rocks. Now, I know my, my fishing pole is maxed out, but you're going to start with a considerably lower stats player. So what you want to do is you want to level it up first. Now, I find that the best place to do that is here in the fish monster swamp. But not at any time. I figure the best place time to do this is only as soon as you get it. When the furbits are still here. Why is that? Well, the thing is, if you do it any other time, you have to supply your own bait. But, if you do it with the furbits, he will give you five mini every time you run out. So you could waste every single bit of bait that you had, and then he'll just keep giving you free bait. So you just keep catching fish. Now, I know what you meant, and that you wanted to uh, know how to play it. Now, let's go into that. My way of doing fishing is as soon as it goes in, use the zoom. Now you want to wait as is normal fishing. Okay, here we go. When it goes under, hit back on the left stick and start holding down X. Now when you see one of those little arrows, you want to flick the left, the left uh, stick in that direction. It'll ease up tension on your uh, line. So then you can keep going with X. Now when it starts getting really close, hit back. And you'll land it. Taking the fish points that you got, every time you get 100 during that event, raise one of your sets. Now, you may be wondering what stats would I recommend increasing the most. Now, flight is pretty good, but the two things that I find that are the most important are first off, grip and luck. Those will basically give you, um, they basically influence the type of fish that you catch. So, when your grip is high, and your luck is high, you'll more frequently land big ones. Now, resilience and strength are also important. Flight, not so much. So, these four are the most important. You can ignore flight for a while, up until these are around 20 or so. When all four of these are around 20, start pumping that flight. This, now, lots of people may disagree with me on this and say that something else is more, more important than any of these. They might say flight's the most important, they might say resilience is, they might say strength is. I think it's these two. But anyways, you don't have to take my word for gospel. Ask around. Some people have different ideas of what are the most important stats to raise first. And I, heard, I see it as, I'm actually in a minority thinking that grip and luck are the most important, as most people go strength and resilience or strength and flight. There have been a very few who go flight and resilience considering that you're not, no matter what, you're still not going to be landing big ones. All you're going to do is be flinging that out further and having an easier time getting it back. But yeah, I say these two. So get these two to 20, then work on getting these two to 20, and then get this one to 20. Then repeat. Get these up by another uh, like 10 or so points, another 10, 
and another 10. Then repeat. Just keep going up until you have until you have the stats necessary to start getting bigger and bigger fish. Now, as said before, um, well not as said before, this is also useful if you want to do, like, say, the racing, the fish racing. Look at this baby. He is 100 centimeters. That's one of the biggest fish you can get. He weighs in at 5608. That's pretty good. Now you can also, as said, you can feed them here to make them stronger. When they have the little heart, they're full. Don't forget that. This is the best place to fish, but only when the furbits are here. When the furbits are gone, I would recommend against fishing here. And instead, fish over at um, the bigger swamp, just don't use uh, poison apples. So, that's about it as I can go into on the tutorial. So, player 3284. I hope you. I hope this uh, tutorial was informative, and I hope it'll help you out. So, until late, until later on, this is Wild Toshi over and.